Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve practice problem 10.7 from Sadikupu. Find I0 in the circuit of the figure using the concept of source transformation. Remember, uh, if we have a voltage source in parallel with a resistor, or in this case, this is inductance, we can transform it into a current source in parallel with inductance okay so let's dive into it so we will change this current source and the inductance that parallel with it into a voltage source in series with an inductance so we will have the voltage source here will be i multiplied by z our i will be 12 angle 90 degrees and we need to multiply it by 4 minus j3 okay let's do that by using calculator in complex mode set it up in complex mode and then we need to multiply 12 angle 90 with 4 minus 3i Okay, that's the result. So I will have 36 plus 48i. Okay, I will have 36 plus j48. And the unit will be volt. Okay, just leave it like that. So we redraw this circuit here. Let's draw the voltage source here with the value of 36 plus j48 and that will be in series with 4 minus j3 let's draw it like this 4 minus j3 and the other inductance here it's still there so i will have this inductance here that will be 2 plus j1 okay 2 plus j1 and i will still have this inductor this inductance here that will be what is it j5 j5 okay then i will still have this one here okay i will have 1 minus j2 ohm here Okay, now let's do another source transformation. Okay, we can combine this because this is series. So I will have 6 minus J2, right? Let's erase this and I will replace it with 6, six minus J2. Okay, I will replace this with 6 minus J2. Okay, 6 minus J2. Let's draw. Okay, now we can replace this voltage source and this one with this current source and parallel with inductance. Okay, and we can use the relationship between I, V, and Z like this. So I will have I is equal to V divided by Z. Our V here will be 36 plus J48. And here our Z will be 6 minus J2. Okay, let's calculate it. Okay, I will have 36 plus 48I. And then this one will be divided by 6 minus 2I. Okay, I will have 3 plus 9I. Okay. 3 plus J9 and let's redraw that so here I will have 3 plus J9 and that will be parallel with this one that will be 6 minus J2 and it is parallel with j5 
Okay. And uh, not resistant here. That will be 1 minus J2. Okay, now let's combine this inductance here and this inductance here. That will become Z is 6 minus J2 in parallel with J5. Okay. Or we can multiply the multiply them in the numerator and divide by the sum of them in the denominator. So I will have 6 minus J2 multiplied by J5 then divided by 6 minus J2 plus J5. Okay, and let's use calculator to do the calculation. Okay, I will have 6 minus 2i and multiplied by 5i divided by 6 minus 2i plus 5i. Okay, I will have 10 over 3 plus 10 over 3. J. Okay, let's write that. Okay, so now let's redraw this one. Here I will have this current source, so I will have 3 plus J9 ampere, and then this one here combine inductance. We will have that one, so I'll have. 10 over 3 plus J 10 over 3. And this is the load resistance. One minus J2. Okay, now maybe let's do one more source transformation and transform this into voltage source. So I will have V is equal to I multiplied by Z. Okay. And what is V? Let's do it by calculator. 3 plus 9I multiplied by 10 over 3 plus 10 over 3 of I. Okay, I will have minus 20 plus 40i. Okay, so I will have V e is minus 20 plus J40. So I will have this one here as minus 20 plus J40. And then... This one here, I will have 10 over 3 plus J 10 over 3. And then here I will have 1 minus J 2. Okay. And we need to calculate what? This current here, I0. So I0 is just here, right? So I'll have I0. And what is I0? I0 is just the voltage here, so you'll we'll have minus 20 plus J40 divided by this plus that. So I will have 10 over 3 plus J 10 over 3 and then plus 1 minus J2. Okay, I will get I0 by using calculate. Or I will have minus 20 plus 40i and divided by that will be 10 over 3 plus 10 over 3 of i and then plus 1 minus 2 okay and this is the result but we need it we need to make it in the 
polar coordinate so complex and r squared and i will have that one 9.86 okay 9.86 and the angle will be 99.46 99.46 and the unit will be ampere okay this is the final result of the question and let's see whether we get the correct answer or not yeah i think we got the correct answer okay hopefully i help you to solve this problem and thank you for watching bye bye